I suppose I had a bit of a little bit of an insight um, with my twin brother being drafted the year before. I'd spoken to a lot of clubs, um, but but certainly no firm indication from any of them that, that they would take me. And I was nervous and you know, excited at the same time. I was drafted at pick 60, so it was a, it was a fair wait and an anxious wait. But um, the elation of hearing your name called out is uh, something you never forget. I came in with a probably a bit of a lack of self-belief in my own ability. I, I walked in my first day at Hawthorne and you know, met my heroes, really. You know, I was training on Darren Jarman, you know, who was a who was a boyhood idol and I just took a, a back seat and, and let them go about their business and, and tried to be seen and not heard. But then when I was delisted, um, it, it really gave me the jolt I needed and, and I went back with a completely different attitude and and was determined that I was gonna have a real crack at it and uh, I think I was redrafted with the second last pick in that year's draft. At that stage I'd my attitude was, I don't care what number I'm drafted, I just want to get an opportunity. And once I get that opportunity, I was never going to let it slip.